Uh, when I say y'all are not prepared, um, so this person, Logan, is with their mother at a Target and um, sees this, so they start recording. You're a horrible person. You're literally doing blackface. Yeah, me later. In the middle yeah. of the store. Lester Holt did whiteface. Nobody said. Where's your pride section? I need to know. We're past. Oh, I thought they were celebrating this and they took our flag forever. No, I was wrong. My bad. I don't shop at Target. I just take pictures. Join me. Post it on my Facebook, please. My Facebook friends love it. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And it doesn't stop there because then they hear a ruckus in the parking lot and they go out to see what's happening. Thank me later, bitch. Thank me later, bitch. You don't know me. You don't know me. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Show of hands, who's not shocked that there's a Trump Pence bumper sticker and she has Trump Pence stickers on her. Uh, yeah, they stopped recording uh, to console the woman that she was almost getting in a fight with. And at that point they said the woman in blackface backed out of her parking spot, yelled the N word at them several times and drove off. Wow, there's actually more video, more context, here it is. The name they were given uh, led me to this Facebook page. And all joking aside, um, this is a descent into madness. And I need to fish out some other people, so I'm going to go smoke them out today. But I thought I'd wear blackface so that when I'm done smoking them out and the FBI or whoever the f needs to show up and listen to me for once, um, when they show up, I'm, I want to get a job. So I'm going to make sure I put on a blackface so I can um, have my best chance at getting a job. And even with a plethora of disturbing things on her Facebook profile, chief among them, it appears that she has been stalking and harassing either her neighbor or a former coworker for quite a while. And it is beyond concerning. And even Logan, who posted the original video, had someone contact them that said they used to work with her at the post office and that she made a threat to pew pew the place just today and that they were on lockdown. And then here's a flyer at the post office warning employees that if they see her, she's not supposed to be there to call 911 immediately. And even she is posting that on her Facebook to be like celebrated. This woman is clearly mentally ill. She is showing signs of being a danger to herself and to others. And law enforcement needs to step in and do something. I cannot speak to the mental status of this individual, but I can highlight something that is clear and obvious. I want to take you to an imaginary scenario. Let's imagine for a minute that instead of a person being a white female, let's say it was a black male or a black female who has been banned from a facility to the degree that the picture is highlighted on the front door. The individual literally decided to post on the social media that they are banned, which means what? Which means they went to the facility to take the picture more than likely. And then the alleged attack in the parking lot. The aggression inside of the store, the harassment, potential harassment of a neighbor or coworker. And these are things we know just because of one post. I'm sure there's more. Do you think no one would have knocked on the door by now if this person was a person of color authentically? I know people can get outraged by the blackface. The blackface obviously is racist. Her commentary is racist, but this individual is dangerous, a threat, a legitimate threat based on the narrative of virtually everybody who has had contact with her according to this story. It's a tale of, well, two Americas, all right. 
to ask my thoughts. Yeah, well, I'm glad to see that she's off these streets for now. Um, her daughter had to make a Facebook post condoning her mother's behavior. And I can't imagine what that must have been like for her to have to see your mother acting that way publicly. And now it's on the internet. And then to see your mother engaging with people in that matter and to see your mother yelling racial slurs at people. I don't know what their relationship is like. I don't know if she knew how unhinged her mother was prior to seeing this footage. but. Her mother was obviously a Trump supporter. We know that from the bumper sticker on her car. But what's sad about all of this beyond the ignorance and the hate and the effort that she made to go out of her way to be disruptive and hateful is that her mental state has been destroyed by Trumpism. You know, she was literally in a mental facility right now. Maybe she already had mental issues prior to Trumpism. As he said, we can't really speak to that. We don't know. But what we see with a lot of these Trump supporters and QAnoners is that they succumb to fear and paranoia. And they've convinced themselves somehow that they are the victims of society. That's evident with this woman when she literally said that she's wearing blackface because she thinks it'll help her get a job later, which is it's crazy to most people to think about. The delusion is destructive and it's devastating. And I can only hope that there's a path back to normalcy, not just for her, but for a lot of people like her. Very well said.